to Bokeen, and we are two brown chicks <laughs> changing the face of therapy on both, both sides, sides of the, the couch. couch. Yay! <laughs> I love it. Yes. And today yes. We have back a uh, third time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, the only person that's been here multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> You came the first time. The conversation was so good. We had to bring you back the very next yes. week. <laughs> yes. Love it. And so yes. this week we are with J. Pierre Raven of Yay. The Woman's Earth. Yes. So we're going to talk all about what she's doing to empower women yes. and especially this upcoming retreat that's happening in Belize. Yes. <laughs> it's all a dream. It's all a dream. <laughs> So um, I'm going to let Elisa, because Elisa has done a retreat before. I'll be going this year. This will be my first time. Woo! Yes! I'm so sad yes. I didn't go last year, but yes. that's okay. I'll be in Belize. Yes. Amen. Don't worry. I'll be there. Yes. It'll be amazing. Yes. yes. So for those that don't know about the woman's earth and about, you know, what we're talking about with mm -hmm. this retreat, um, which I think is so important because I often see... Um, women asking you know are there retreats for women of color you know mm -hmm. we're really wanting to feel like we're in safe and sacred spaces mm -hmm. and so for those that aren't familiar with the woman's earth mm -hmm. because you do more than retreats can you mm -hmm. kind of tell us about the woman's earth and what you're doing absolutely so first of all i'm so happy to be here, I'm so happy <laughs> you're here too. Yes. um but the woman's earth has evolved from a my home studio to a wellness movement mm -hmm. and Basically, it's curating sacred safe spaces mm -hmm. for women to facilitate healing. Mm -hmm. So whether that space is in my home studio where women come in and just pour into what I like to call our tribe. Right. Um, or it could be in Tobago, like where we were yes. you know, a couple of months ago. And it is about creating a space that is just for us, mm -hmm. right. by us. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Um, because... You know, there are a lot of spaces out there, but they're not catering to women who are who are acknowledging that their layered issues may be maybe issues that they're not even aware of why they have them. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. um, I wholeheartedly believe that in our DNA we carry the trauma of our ancestors, mm -hmm. and I feel that understanding that and acknowledging our ancestors and acknowledging that you're carrying that on top of your real life experiences and how to peel that back using different modalities through therapy, Reiki, massage, um, spiritual readings, all of those things is very important. And there are a lot of women who are like, I don't want to get back to that. I want to know how to right, do that right. because life is too overbearing. Right. right. And so the retreat is <clears throat> a sacred and powerful recharge. Right. It also serves as just a sisterhood, a place where we can mm -hmm. all come to and just really dive deep in authentic love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. And it, it's so, you know, I've got, I've been able to witness your growth and your progression. And when you first introduced this, right, yeah. which was the first retreat was in Galveston yes and I remember when you were you know I had the privilege of being able to facilitate at both of these at Galveston and Tobago <laughs> <laughs> but I remember when you were sharing with us what you were doing I was like Jay <laughs> that's a lot <laughs> you know like how and 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 you know I've shared this before what I love about you is you have this vision and you don't stop until that vision exactly as you see it is played out mm -hmm. and when you were saying about you know we're gonna have 50 women you know and at that time beautiful spaces that mm -hmm. you know you were able to rent out these beautiful beach houses mm -hmm. but I was like you're gonna have 50 women sharing spaces like that that don't even know one another okay Jay let's go with it <laughs> and it was so amazing it was, it was beautiful. so beautiful the it's just what's created there is um and, and i and not just what's created but i think it really flips what people sometimes think about you know there's this narrative of women being catty that mm -hmm. women you know can't you know come together and that experience even as a facilitator was transformative mm -hmm. because of what is created. People are able to be vulnerable. Um, and then the people that you find to help facilitate the different workshops, mm -hmm. um, 
everybody brings something different yeah. and and so it's so incredible to see how that's grown so Galveston was amazing mm -hmm. um, and then when you said we're going to Tobago <laughs> And we're gonna get, you know, fifty women, and I was like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> to go to Tobago, <laughs> to go to Tobago, and we're gonna get on a plane. Everybody, <laughs> two planes, <laughs> two planes. You're like, I love y'all too much to make you do the ferry. And like, right. Thank you. <laughs> um, but but it's happened, and yeah. it was fifty plus women mm -hmm. at Tobago, which was incredible. I mean. And that's just what you keep you kept hearing from all of the women attending was yeah. how transformative it was even there. And it's so hard to like verbalize. Yeah. I know Ebony yeah. has like heard me like, like yeah. oh my god. <laughs> and Sharice was on. They were like, nobody gets the high on right now. <laughs> like for real. Yeah. yeah. It was, I mean it's it's interesting. I mean, you guys know because you're business owners and you know how it feels when you have this vision and you it's, it's on your heart and you know mm -hmm. it's something that you need to do yeah. for yourself and for others. Mm -hmm. And um, I totally, you know, I, the woman's earth will be six years old this year and it wasn't until the Tobago retreat that I totally connected to the do it scared. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, I ain't scared. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I pray every day. Every day I pray for, you know, my family, my friends, mm -hmm. you know, um, the woman's earth, all of my tribe, everything, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember a moment about maybe about a month away from the retreat, mm -hmm. right? We had already sold out. You know, I knew it was going to be 50-something women. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm crunk, I'm excited. But then there was this moment when it was just me in my house, in my meditation space, and I was like, Oh my God! Mm. Right. Take care of these fifty plus women. <laughs> oh my God! You know what I mean? Like, oh my God! Yeah. Like this is you know mm -hmm. uh, you know taking these women. I'm responsible yeah, for right. these sisters right. going overseas. Mm -hmm. You know, and of course, you know, I, you know, we did our due diligence in making sure we're going to be safe. Right. You know, we Absolutely. vetted everything. But still, yeah, yeah. You know, yes. it is an act of complete faith. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why prayer is so important to me. Mm. You know, just petitioning, however you pray, whatever that is for you, yeah, yeah. when you put it out there, I wholeheartedly believe that the universe says, okay, okay, okay. So it's like everybody, say a prayer for safety. Yeah. Say a yeah. prayer, you know, yeah. that we get to where we need to be, mm -hmm. that we enjoy the food, that, mm -hmm. you know, everybody is the open. Food. Uh, the food. The food. <laughs> the food was so good. I ain't barracuda. Right. <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> on the beach. Yes. On the private island. Yes. <laughs> At, yes. I'm sorry. The food. No. Oh, yes. no. <laughs> but that, but it was just, I, I, you know, I totally related to do it scared in that moment. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's amazing what can happen when you just continue to move forward. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, even though you're just like, <laughs> How's this gonna work? How's it gonna work? You know, yeah. da, 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 and just trusting, not and, and trusting the process. We hear right. that all the time. Right. Right? Trust the process and all those affirmations yeah. that I say. Yeah. You know, was just like a mirror just shot up in front of me. Like, are you gonna trust the process? Mm. Are you gonna continue? Mm. Mm. You know, are you gonna? Mm. You know, like, are you gonna scale back now yeah. because you're scared? You right. know, so right. so I just and, and then it just made me. Just have, if, if it were even possible for me to have even more respect mm -hmm. for every sister that signed up to say, mm -hmm. I'm going to, because I don't reveal the agenda. In no, she does. That's the other thing. <laughs> I that was the other thing with the first one where she was like, be there. <laughs> Bring this. You're going to have a good time. And I'm like, and people were like, okay. Yeah. You know, and yes, the, the agenda is always very carefully thought out mm -hmm. and and so much attention to detail um but yeah you were saying you yeah. don't reveal the agenda i don't because i feel like you know it's it kind of feels like when some people say i don't want to reveal my baby's name mm -hmm. until my baby comes it's kind of like that just keeping it sacred and praying over every aspect of mm -hmm. the agenda and she, and she does this all the time yeah. offline because like a lot of us like okay I'm one of the facilitators. We don't know until like maybe a day 
if that before everybody else does. Like, uh, Jay. <laughs> tell us. Right. I know, people, I know sisters are calling them. So I'm like, yeah. you can be able to truthfully, in so all you of your know. full truth and authenticity, say, I really don't Right. Know. She does it for us. Right. 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 No. She loves that. She's like, okay. I'm going to tell you at the end of this dinner, I'm like, oh my God, like, people love this. So part of it is keeping it sacred, and part of it is she loves to watch it squirt. <laughs> I think a big part of that is like when people are seeing what it is, they're already forming in their mind the expectation yeah. of it, yes. as opposed to like when you just experience it and exactly. focus on mm-hmm. in the moment, yeah. as opposed to like, oh, I thought it was going to be this or this or that. Like, you don't even know. You're just there and then you're experiencing it and then it makes it even more intense and more powerful mm-hmm. I'm sure yes that, that's exactly what it is because it's like you know you you cannot put words on paper the experience mm-hmm. that you experience at the self love retreat mm-hmm. because you're co-creating your experience right mm-hmm. right and what I love about it is when you get into that space, you're given complete permission. Not that you need my permission right, to do right, anything. Right, right. But it's such a burden when somebody says, it's okay mm-hmm. to just let this be completely about you. Right, mm-hmm. right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. It's okay to not think about anybody else right, in this right, space mm-hmm. but you. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And it's okay to only take care of you. you. Yeah, right, you know, yeah, right. like this is all about right. you. Mm-hmm. Let's assess your mind, your body, your spirit, your desires. Let's deal with that. Mm-hmm. You know, any trauma, anything that you're dealing with. That's why it's so important for me to have mm-hmm. sisters that are therapists mm-hmm. and that have different healing modalities in the space. And, and I don't, I don't have to do hard recruiting. Right. Those sisters come, mm-hmm. you know, because they know that this is work that they need for themselves, right. the work that they are supposed to be doing for others. Absolutely. And so it's, it's beautiful when when we are given that permission mm-hmm. and how we step in that space yeah, and it's yeah. just this overwhelming sense of love yes mm-hmm. yes it, it really is yeah. and it's it's i think that's one of the things that i was really struck by at this last retreat was i a lot of the women that were there were at the first retreat right and um just even seeing the growth in those women and in in you mm-hmm. like how you were saying I did this scared like so seeing just watching like your growth and then kind of noting whatever growth that we had so that was what was really interesting about this um is that there is because with the woman's earth you mm-hmm. also do create a community there mm-hmm. right like mm-hmm. so you have you can be part of the woman's earth and and be a member and so you really have this community that Mm. you've created and that you do begin to form these bonds with and you're watching the progression of all the women Mm -hmm. and these retreats are very transformative i mean i remember after the first one i was like we went to galveston (laughs) and people were looking at the pictures like where were y'all we were in galveston (laughs) Galveston. i'm like but it was it was and um and Tobago, same thing. It's like um, what you said, you know, that was kind of my own personal um, kind of promise to myself, mm. it, you know, because I, I'm, I'm a therapist, you mm-hmm. know, so I have a history of people pleasing tendencies, right? <laughs> and that was like for me the first time. And I remember thinking, this is just for me. Yeah. Like it's for nobody else. Mm-hmm. And I'm enjoying this without yeah. the guilt. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. this is something I need to do. Yeah. So I think for everybody that participates, it really is transformative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell us how you come up with the themes. Cause the first year was um redefining the redefining the superwoman. Mm-hmm. Then last year was adjust your crown. Mm-hmm. And then this year is unveil her. So mm-hmm. how do you come up with the themes each year? Honestly, it it has a lot to do with what I'm going through mm. in my life, mm. um, and and then it just comes, you know. Uh, I like things to be catchy, you mm-hmm. know. I, th- I know y'all can appreciate that from a market. Yeah. <laughs> right. okay. For sure. Um, you know, redefining the superwoman. Um, that was because we were just stuck between these two um, movements of independent woman and but we still are human Mm -hmm. like that movement of if you don't like us then leave us alone Mm -hmm. you know that type Mm -hmm. of thing Mm -hmm. and so it's like but i still have all this stuff to do right Right. and so there was a lot of conversation about um when does the strong friend get to fall apart when does the strong friend get to be vulnerable and that i remember seeing that i said i served on a couple of panels where 
I just started equating, you know, when we hold sacred space for each other, that's like when you're in the church, mm -hmm. you know, and those church nurses are yeah. standing by, mm -hmm. but when spirit moves and you're getting ready to release that trauma that's inside mm -hmm. and it's coming out, they're there to hold sacred space. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's what that was, was like redefining the superwoman and you can fall completely apart right. and right. still be strong in that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, Absolutely. and so it just came out of just experiencing those discussions and being able to relate directly to them mm -hmm. and then the theme and then adjust your crown um, after Harvey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I had a birthday dinner, a uh, birthday brunch planned, and it was it was themed Adjust Your Crown. Mm -hmm. But it was planned way before we knew Harvey was yeah, going to be Harvey, yeah, right? Yeah. And I opted to, this was like literally two days after Harvey, you know, happened. And I was like, man, should I, you know, cancel it? Should I keep it going? So I actually did a poll in my event space. Like, I know a lot is going on. Like, I want to be insensitive. I'm going through it too, but y'all let me know what y'all want. They right. were like, have it, have it, have right. it, have it. You, you know, like, sure. we need something, you yeah. know. So we came together and it was just like, it was a mini retreat. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. it was just like laying your burdens down. We prayed, we sang, we ate, we, we had fun. Mm -hmm. I had sisters that were there were like, I'm signing up today. I don't even know what's <laughs> going on, but if this is... You know, any yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, piece of what we would be experiencing it. But it's like we're all creating it though. Right, mm -hmm. right. You know? Right. I'm just I'm just I'm just hosting, but we're right. all creating right. that right. space. Right. You know, and so it was like, okay, we're gonna carry this forward, adjust your crown. Because we literally had to adjust our crowns yeah. after dealing with Harvey and then everything else that we deal yeah. with on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and unveil her was just kinda like a first of all, I thought it was cute. Yeah. <laughs> That's key. And, and her, you know, is acronym for um, heal, empower, and restore. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you've adjusted your crown, you understand your worth, you know that there's strength in being vulnerable mm -hmm. and getting help for yourself. But now it's like there's still like this, you're still, we're still blossoming. Right. right? You know what right. I mean? Like it's a lifetime process, process sure. of, of of blossoming. So let's just, let's just, let's just, hey, Keep this is who I am. am. You know, yeah. and let's, as we all come into our own, let's support each other. Let's yeah. root for each other's win. Let's remind each other, girl, you got it going on. Right. I saw this meme the other day and I, I was like, oh my God, that is so us. That is so <laughs> me. That is so my sisters. <laughs> Where it was like, um, women of color do not have to really say anything when you give a compliment. Did you know that? <laughs> it was like, um, it was like, we just go, yes, shoes. <laughs> Desire yeah. to let your sister know you're doing it. Right, right, you know right, what I mean? Yes. Which I love. And and, yeah. and I love that that and it's genuine. It really is yeah. genuine, you know, um, from the very first retreat and mm -hmm. all of the gatherings, the 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 brunch that you just had, you just had yeah. the New Year's Eve brunch. Mm -hmm. Even that, like I was at the very first one. Yeah, you were! I was at the very first one. So at the like, studio. Yes. And it was amazing. It was. Jackie from Melodrama yes. Boutique. I remember her sharing her story. Yes. Um, and I was like, oh my god, this is so amazing. And of course, um, you also have the um the privilege mm -hmm. of being married to a chef. <laughs> and then, and shout out to my husband, hey, <laughs> And so, you know, he had done all the catering yeah. with shrimp and grits and chicken and waffles. And I was like, oh my God, this is so fun. And hearing Jackie's story, um, and I was so moved by it. And yeah. so, but seeing from there to um, being at the, um, what is the name of the? Space 40. The one that you just yeah. had. Oh, the one, oh yeah, Ensemble Theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Ensemble yeah. Theater. That was like, amazing. Look, and that's just in a couple of years yeah. how much this movement has grown mm -hmm. and so much fun. Right. Ebony was one of the presenters yes, at that one. Awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so people are just excited and we come mm -hmm. together. We're so excited and yeah. so welcoming of new women right. coming in. Um, it's just contagious. Yeah, yeah. it's just contagious. It is. It Especially is. when you see it in person, because I've, I've I've been adjacent this mm -hmm. whole time, mm -hmm. and I've been to some of the events and things like that. But like to especially the brunch to see like y'all y'all know it's a lot for me sometimes. But that energy is just yes, the energy is just like 
it can be overwhelming, but it's like fun and loving and just like supportive and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay. Like, it's, it's genuine. It's like, yeah. like you said, it doesn't feel like it's forced or anything like that. Yeah. Like, y'all just really enjoy each other yes. and really want to support each other in any way that you can. And so I was telling her, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to be a member. Jay, don't listen. <laughs> no, um, she's not. I sponsor <laughs> sister. I pay for somebody's membership. She was like, no, you're going to be a member. I was like, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I told her, I was like, you, you can't say no to Jenny. And she's like, I and see that now. Right. <laughs> but no, I'm sponsor somebody. No, you don't sponsor yourself. <laughs> but I am curious, like, how do you, because you have such a variety of women and, mm-hmm. and different beliefs. And mm-hmm. even like we always talk about the healing and it's mm-hmm. so much more healing than therapy. Like we are pro therapy all day, every day, mm-hmm. but we recognize that there's so many ways you can heal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so how did you... I, I'm just curious, like even presenting that to to women of color in mm-hmm. particular, mm-hmm. was there any concern there that there would be some pushback on like mm, Reiki energy, mm-hmm. you know that mm-hmm. type of stuff? Mm-hmm. Even though when you look at the history, that's been a part of our history. Mm-hmm. But you know, yeah. was there any concerns? Um, I I didn't have any concerns there, only because I had already took my own personal journey through that. Mm-hmm. You know, I grew up in a conservative Christian household, um, and anything that was not of the, of, of the Bible mm-hmm. was was not good, yeah, right, right. right? And so I had to go through my own reconditioning of I can love people mm-hmm. and respect their process of mm-hmm. healing and respect mm-hmm. their spirituality right. and still stand strong in mine. Right. And so when I when I figured out that I could do that, I know other people could do that too. Right. And I know that I know how it feels to want to be released from trauma Mm -hmm. and when you're when you're there you really you really just need the permission to to love people regardless of their spirituality like and so like at the at my birthday brunch the adjust your Mm -hmm. crown i had my sister um pray from um who was muslim i had my sister pray who practiced ifa and i had my sister pray who was christian Mm -hmm. all to open up the brunch because just to say there was no is this okay? Yeah, no. Right, right. Whatever your heart speaks to, yeah. you can do that. And I ask them each to do that, not saying, is this okay if this person? No, yeah. because you should be able to do that strong in what you do. And they did it side mm-hmm. by yeah. side, and it was beautiful. Yeah. And everybody was like, it's like all of a sudden the energy shifted to, oh, finally. Right. Right. We don't right. have to be right. judgmental. Okay, right. good. Right. We don't right. have to cast nobody to hell. Okay, right. 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 You know, it's like, acceptance. it's a burden. To be in a place of judgment, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean. That's a burden to have to carry. But to know that I can be strong, thank you, because I keep <laughs> doing that. Right? I can be strong in my spirituality and still respect my sister. Yes. Yes. That yes. is such a beautiful space yes. to be in. Yeah. So, but I get it. You know, mm-hmm. it, you know, twenty years ago, I'd have mm-hmm. been like, mm-hmm. yeah. What you're talking yeah. About. yeah. But that I wasn't ready for that. Right? Mm-hmm. You know, I wasn't ready. But for the for the women that are ready mm-hmm. and willing. They're going to come yeah. regardless. And there was even one of the sisters that attended mm-hmm. um, in Tobago actually sent me a note and said, I feel so free to be able to stand in my Christianity next to my sister who might not be Christian. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that is going mm-hmm. to help me right. with what I want to do mm-hmm. through my platform. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Like I now have a completely no ju- like judgment free zone right. because yeah. of that experience. Right. Well, and I think yes. that's the tone that, again, we keep coming back to. It's the love, mm-hmm. the acceptance, the support, yeah. and it's I see you, yeah. right? Like, yeah. I see you, and you bring that to the table, wonderful. Yeah. That just enhances the experience. Yeah. And and it really is. It really is this beautiful vibe that you have, you know, created, and that it's just... I think it's in your sincerity and in your authenticity that it has just caught on. Right. Yeah. It's like there's not even a thought about it. Yeah. It's like it's not it's not even really um this is just who you are. Yeah. yeah. And I think that speaks a lot of times we talk about like genuineness, authenticity mm-hmm. as mental health professionals and like being who you are and the the fact that you're like, I'm going through this, so there must be other women mm-hmm. that would feel the same way I feel. When you're looking at your audience or looking at, you know, how do you present yourself or what what do I um, 
is what I have good enough for other people? Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, if, if, if one person likes it, there are probably another 50, yeah. 100, 3,000 people that will also like yeah. it. Yeah. You just got to see, find that one person and then it'll grow from there. Yeah. yeah. One of the yeah. things that I have learned, I've, I've shared this before, that I really have learned from you mm -hmm. has been asking for help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You have, like, you're just like, can you help me with this? <laughs> And you, you're good at that. Help me. Like, yeah. you are so good at that. Mm -hmm. Like, you're so good at that. And that's from the first one to especially the second one in Tobago. Like, being able to coordinate all of that. It wasn't just you. Right. You know, right. you had a team, team of people. Definitely. And that is one of the things that I have taken away, not just... Um, you know, in, in business, but just in life, mm -hmm. right? you mm -hmm. know, and we've had our own personal moments where mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, let me, let me ask Jay for help, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. that strengthened our, you know, friendship. Absolutely. Uh, but I have really learned that from you and it has stayed with me of the importance of, you know, superwoman can ask for help, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Help me adjust my crown, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, and how, how necessary it is to accomplish anything right absolutely i mean in your 20s you know you pull all-nighters and mm -hmm. you know it's not going to affect you the same mm -hmm. as when you move into your 30s mm -hmm. and your late 30s mm -hmm. and eventually your 40s and all yeah. that and i remember i was on a um a radio segment by um with an elder that i respect and um um hataji and she told me a story and i was like right in the midst of just pulling all these all-nighters mm -hmm. and trying to get it all done <clears throat> and she was like you know Self-care is so important in listening to your body and not putting yourself to the point of life or death. Mm -hmm. She was working on all her projects. She had all this stuff going on. She had a radio show. She was doing all this stuff. And she was in grad school. Mm -hmm. And she was writing her, um, working on her dissertation for grad school. Mm -hmm. And she literally felt her hands going numb mm -hmm. and her body feeling a little weird. Mm -hmm. But she just literally shook it off. Like, wow. I got to finish mm -hmm. this. Right, right. And she ended up having a stroke. Wow. Oh wow. You know what I mean? And that stayed with me yeah. because she was trying to do it all. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, that's me right now. I'm yeah. trying to do it all. Yeah. So asking for help is an act of self-care for me. Absolutely. Yeah. Because as a Virgo, <laughs> you know, um, and one and a, and a planner and somebody mm -hmm. that's like, it's got to be, you know, yeah. we got to do it right. We got to do it with quality and mm -hmm. all this and that. I want to make sure that it happens, but I will try to do it all myself. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, that's not healthy. It's not sustainable. Right. Um, I want to be, you know, God willing, a, a 70 year old woman right. that's mm -hmm. full of life and vibrant Absolutely. and doing yoga and mm -hmm. all those things. So I'm not going to get there if I'm not mm -hmm. taking right. care of myself. So, true. so, and then there are so many amazing women with amazing gifts and skills that want to use yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. They want to help. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so it's like, yeah, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Let's, this is, this is truly tribe life. Yeah. Right. You For know, sure. like sure. when a tribe of, um, <laughs> lionesses go out to hunt, you know, there might be a, a host, if you will, but they all are part of their lives to <laughs> get this food, you know what I mean? And everybody eats at yeah. the end, including the men, you know Absolutely. what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it, it's, it's a tribe thing. It's a collection you know? it's of a, individuals. Yeah, it's it's we yeah, have to support each other, yeah. and then we have to be the ones to say. Also, you know, I endeavor to be the person to say, "How can I help you?" Yes, you do. You know yeah, what I do. mean? Like, yeah. what can I do to help mm -hmm. you? And, mm -hmm. and it's in those moments when I'm feeling like my cup is full and yeah. everything is going good. Right. I'm like, okay, everything is like aligned. Mm -hmm. Everything is good. I'm well rested. Mm -hmm. Who can I help today? Right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. Let me use this energy yeah. to help my sisters. Yeah, right. Who yeah. can I help today? And I'll reach out to somebody yeah. when I'm in that moment, which are many times, mm -hmm. you know, just to say, how can I help you? What do you mm -hmm. need? You know, and that feels good. Yes. Awesome. That feels That's good. Awesome. I love it. I love yes. it. So, so yes. You, yes. I was going to say, give the details. <laughs> yes. How yes. You can't sign up today. <laughs> right. Unless you're a member. If you're a member, you can go ahead. And they're members. Yes. We are members. These two dope therapists are members. <laughs> We are, we are. But if you're not a member, you have to wait until Monday. Oh, you yes. can become a member? Oh, you, oh, you can become a member. Become a member. Yes, you can become right. a member. Uh -huh. So, um, registration to the public opens Monday, January 28th. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to go. You can go to the womansearth.com backslash retreat, mm -hmm. and it will direct you to the retreat play page, and you can read all the information. You can also look at stuff from Tell the Tell them where we're retreats. going. 
We are going to Belize. Woo! So excited. Um, Belize is such a beautiful country. Oh my goodness, um, so I visited funny. a couple of years ago with Baba and we had such a good time. Mm -hmm. Like a really good time. Um, it was like chill time because we stayed on one of the smaller, quieter islands. Mm -hmm. Belize is like a country full of beautiful little islands. Right. And, and I say little, but they're not little. You know what <laughs> right, I mean? Right, but, right. And, um, but the island we chose is just going to be amazing. The accommodations are going to be The location is gorgeous. Yes, Mahogany Bay Resort Ooh. is so beautiful. It's the first luxury uh, resort for Belize. Yes. Um, okay. Part of the Curio Collection from Hilton. Mm -hmm. um, and they are like very excited to have us. Um, so and it's going to be amazing. Yeah. I'm going to go no out doubt. in the summertime because I like to taste test and I like to look and feel and meet folk and yes and drum up you, the energy. Yeah, you, like, you start getting the, the we, people, coming, yeah. we coming, we coming, we mm -hmm. coming. Get ready, get ready, get ready. So mm -hmm. um, I'm excited about that yes. and um, yeah, then I'm going to do it scared all over again. Like it's so excited. <laughs> so excited. And if they want to join the, the Women's Earth? Yes, join our tribe. You can go to thewomensearth.com um, and click join and you can look at all of the different levels we have and you don't have to be in Houston to join them. We yeah. have a general membership uh, that gives you connection to our virtual community. Um, you get our signature shirt. Um, you get discounts on our events. Um, we are going to start going to other cities at some point Woo! in life. <laughs> yes. At some point in life. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we want you to join us and it's just a beautiful community where we support each other. Um, we celebrate each other. Um, we offer different tools. The sisters are always doing something. Right. Something amazing. Right. Like everybody's always got something yes, great going right. on. I'm always like, do you have this date available? Because I'm going to do a workshop. Yeah. <laughs> what about this date? Yeah. What we have to like <laughs> check in with each other. We have to have a tribe calendar yes. at the end of it just to say, okay, what's going on where? Um, but, and then, you know, like, you ventured off into mm -hmm. webinars and things yeah. like that, so mm -hmm. that's great too for our virtual community, which mm -hmm. is growing. Mm -hmm. um, so join us. I'd love to have you. Um, it's all about curating sacred, safe, self-love spaces. And you have we... regular classes there. You yes. Have yoga. Yes. You have yes. Afrobeats classes. Yes. You have the Zumba. Yes. Um, regular you have uh, the upcoming uh, yeah, exactly. healing circle yes, yes yes so it's all about um pouring into you on a regular basis right so as elisa said um we have classes throughout the week um yoga meditation dance fitness we also have a program called holy mama for our expecting and postpartum mamas mm -hmm. um and we're actually getting ready to kind of relaunch rebrand that program we have an amazing coordinator um um she's just Sierra St. Kofa, she's awesome. She's a member of the tribe too. Um, but um, you guys should have her on. She's really cool. Yeah. Uh, yes. But um, but yeah, so we're gonna be relaunching that. And so we have a lot going on, but it's all about supporting you on your journey mm -hmm. so that you know you're not alone. And then we have fun. And I like a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of if you've seen the episode with Sharice, Sharice was here a few episodes back. I keep seeing Sharice is is there. I don't know if she's yeah. still is, there. You know she went there? <laughs> so we have that was one of the thing about Tobago. Like yes, we have these beautiful moments, yes. spiritual, deep release, really? and then we have fun. We have fun. We have a lot of fun. Uh, I gotta tell this story. So <laughs> Tobago has a um, an island tradition of decades called Sunday School. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday there's a street party. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday when I went to visit and did the street party, I was like, my sisters have to do this, right? Like, not typically, you would typically take your women's retreat to a street party. Honestly, but, we, but we went, balance. we went, we went, we went. We had buses and we went. And we formed a circle in the middle of Sunday school and was like doing a Soul Train circle. Yes. And, and I looked up and there's a circle around the circle. And there was a circle of these beautiful Local. men from Tobago, like, not, not, not being disrespectful, no. keeping a very, um, healthy distance, but they were just watching. Like, Who are these people? <laughs> we had so much. I mean, it was so beautiful. Not that fun. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, it's all about supporting you. You mm -hmm. know, even if you're the most um, what I consider put together person, <laughs> you know, and you've got it going on. You're still carrying some things, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, and you need support. Everybody deserves support. And one of the things that I've noticed personally is that strong woman mm -hmm. who's vocal, who's who speaks for herself, mm -hmm. who who demands respect, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes she's dehumanized. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. As if 
you know, attacked. If you're not wearing everything. Yeah, yes. if you're not yeah. falling apart in front of us, mm -hmm. right. you know, right. not to mention you just want a sacred space to do that. Right. But right. if you think you're all that, now I'm putting things on you right. and you're not human, so I'm going to talk about you, I'm going to mm -hmm. attack you, I'm going to lie on you, I'm going to do all these things. I've experienced that. Yeah. People yeah. trying to break you yeah. for no reason, mm -hmm. and it's out of their own trauma. Mm -hmm. It's out of their own like layered issues that they haven't dealt with. So the woman's earth is to support that woman and every woman in between. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah. To say there's nothing wrong with you. Right. Yeah. Right. You know what right. I mean? Right. Like you don't have to, um, you don't have to succumb to somebody else's negative energy or negativity. Yeah. We already got enough of it. Enough. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Just because we wake up in the skin we're Absolutely. in. Enough of it. Yeah. And it's like, nah, we're here to affirm you. We're yeah. here to make sure that you know you're good. And if you're not feeling so good, we got we got sisters in the tribe mm -hmm. that can help you and support right. you. Like these sisters. Yeah. Right, right. You yeah. know? So that's what it's about. So I'd love for you guys to yes. join us. Yes, we're you gonna know? be there. Yes, we're, we're gonna, gonna be there. Come join us. <laughs> Danielle <laughs> Bowman, who is also part of our Melody and Tell of Truth, she'll be there. She'll be so, there. So, ooh. It's going to be, so it's gonna be amazing, y'all. Yes. I'm so excited. Yes. It's such a beautiful country. Yes. It really is. So next week, they can sign up they for the retreat. Next week, you all have... It's this, next, this, this Friday. 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 This Friday. I'll be at the Woman's Earth for yes. the Sister Circle. Yes. We're talking about relationships. Yes. It's my favorite topic to yes. talk about, so I'm excited about that. Yes. It'll yeah. be the first women's circle um self-love women's circle self -love women's of circle. the year mm -hmm. um our our last um alisa did a one um at the end of the year on december 22nd and then we're starting the the self-love women's yes, circle yes. on friday so yes. Um, we have something every month mm -hmm. um, just to help us recharge, restore, release. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm excited to have you. Yay! So they follow you across social media at? At The Woman's the Earth. Woman's D W O M A N S mm -hmm. Earth. Um, that is thewomansearth.com. That is at The Woman's Earth on Twitter, Instagram, and The Woman's Earth on Facebook. Yes. yes. So, All right. And info at The Woman's Earth if you want to send me a note. Awesome. Yay! Wow. Thank you for being here yes. today. Thank you. Yay. I yes. hope we see some of y'all at the retreat. Yeah, I am very excited. Yes. <laughs> um, of course, you can follow us at Melanin and Mental Health Ooh. across social media, Melanin Health on Twitter, Melanin and Health dot com. Make sure you go over there right now. We had um, we have a full directory because we hit twenty thousand on Instagram. Yeah. Um, I believe you said we're at eight thousand on, on Facebook or something. Yes, it's amazing. So we opened up the directory. So check out, if you're looking for a therapist, go check out the directory today. There are plenty of people up there for you. If you haven't signed up, make sure you do that now. Yes. Um, and of course, Dope Gear. I have my shirt on. You can see hey. it. Hey. Uh, check out melanimentalhealth.com slash shop. And we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>